William Ockham, or William of Ockham, was born about 1285, most likely in the small Surrey or England village of Ockham. He was a Franciscan monk and scholastic philosopher who was critical of the philosophy of Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas sought to reconcile reason with faith and was thus embraced by the Catholic Church which canonized him while condemning Occam. Occam is best known for the concept of Occam's razor, a principle of simplicity intended to cut through unnecessary hypotheses. Occam's razor has been popularized to mean the simplest solution, or explanation, is most likely the right one. In fact, Occam did not propose quite so sweeping a declaration, but held that in solving problems, entities should not be multiplied without absolute necessity. Even more precisely, his rule of thumb was that in judging competing hypotheses about the same prediction, choose the solution that makes the fewest assumptions. As a metaphysician, Occam was a nominalist, one who believed that such universal essences as humanity or blackness did not inhere in their object but were no more or less than cognitive concepts. As an epistemologist, Occam argued for a direct realist empiricism, the idea that humans perceive objects through intuitive cognition without the aid or intervention of innate ideas. Such perceptions of external reality produce all our abstract concepts and provide knowledge of the world. As a logician, Occam embraced what modern philosophers call a supposition theory, arguing that words have meaning in a mental language. As a theologian, Occam held that belief in God is a matter of faith, not knowledge. This went against the discourse of Aquinas, who argued that faith and reason are not mutually inconsistent. Rejecting any notion of the scientific validity of theology, Occam held that scientific proofs of the existence of God were invalid. In connection with ethics, Occam rejected the notion that God wills a thing because it is good and instead held that a thing is good because God wills it. In political philosophy, however, Occam championed the ideas of natural rights, separation of church and state, and freedom of speech. Little is known about William of Ockham's life other than he was likely born in Ockham, 25 miles southwest of London, also likely spoke Middle English but wrote exclusively in Latin. He became a Franciscan and was educated at a Franciscan house, from which he went on to Oxford University with the intention of obtaining a degree in theology. He failed to complete the degree because he was forced to leave in response to a 1323 summons to the papal court, which was at the time in Avignon, France. The charge was heresy, largely for his opposition to Aquinas and his argument for the essential incompatibility of faith and reason. While the papal court investigated, he was held four years in Avignon under house arrest. Persuaded that the papacy was corrupt, he fled with other Franciscans, then under trial on May 26, 1328. They found refuge in the court of Louis of Bavaria. Although excommunicated, Occam and his fellow Franciscans escaped capture. Louis lost his bid to attain empire and retreated to Munich, where Occam, as part of his entourage, spent the rest of his life, much of which was consumed in writing anti-papal treatises. He died between 1347 and 1349, outcast by and unreconciled with the Catholic Church. Are you a philosophy student or just have a general interest in philosophy? Since ancient times, brilliant philosophical teachings and dialogues taught by great luminous minds have deeply elevated the way we think and live. The Complete Philosophy Primer is a comprehensive, organized, easy to read, and all-encompassing guide specifically written for students in their first college-level philosophy course, as well as anyone with an interest in philosophy. With this jam-packed philosophical guide, you will optimize your knowledge in philosophy, logic, ethics, its history, and branches, learn philosophical concepts, term definitions, and biographies, find lists of essential books, films, blogs, websites, and other resources, improve your writing skills, learn how to argue effectively, and most of all, learn how to be a better student. Order your copy today to philosophize your mind and illuminate your wisdom.